Okay, great. Now we've got our Dominion server up and running and we're going to start importing our pictures into the Dominion catalog. Um, but firstly, I just want you to verify and double check a setting on your computer administration um, panel. If like me, you installed Dominion using the local system account, just go to your um, services and applications area and select the services node um, on computer management console and uh, uh, verify that this Dominion service um, on the logon tab has got this box checked that allows the service to interact with the desktop. Um, you will you will need access to drag and drop to make uh, importing files into Dominion easy. I'll I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to log on to my um, Dominion catalog. As you can see, we've got the empty catalog here, and I'm going to uh, drag and drop my folder containing all the images that uh, that I want to import um, into my catalog. Now there, there, there's various way you can you can add your images uh, manually as well by selecting add files and then uh, you know navigating to where the the files are and selecting all of them and hitting the add button but um, if you've got a, a large chunk of images like I've got about 1,800 in these folders that I want to import, um, you can simply just take the folder and drag it and drop it into Dominion. Okay, so here we can see all our files. Um, it, it's grouped here by modified date. We can change this grouping here to show us um, the different folders that we're importing. And we're just going to go take a quick walk through this um, import dialog that we've got open here at the moment. Now um, let's take them one at a time. Your import source is is basically just telling you where it's importing these images from. Say for example, you wanted to import from an SD card or maybe an external hard drive. Um, you, you would change that location here. Then uh, this uh, group by folder, we've just uh, showed you the different options. You can either group by modified date, um, folder or file type to, to make it easier for you to um, say, for example, you wanted to selectively import files and not like I'm going to be importing all of them. Um, if you wanted to, for example, only import um, files of a certain type or files that were created at a certain time or files from within a specific folder, then you, um, then you would use this feature. Okay, so you can either uh, use these checkboxes to um, isolate groups of files. Say, for example, I want to exclude these files. I would deselect it there. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you could also use these individual checkboxes to select your files or select these global check all and uncheck all um, um, files to, to, uh, to, to make your selection. Then these are the two options that, uh, you know, the, this is quite important to pay attention to. There, there are two options here that show you firstly to add files to the catalog without copying them, which means it leaves the files here in this particular location on my hard disk. Um, and then the other option is to copy files to a shared folder and then this is the destination folder which I would have to specify then you know as a shared um, um, folder um, say for example I want to copy it to um, a network share or something um, that this computer and other users on the network are using then I would um, specify those details there. Then you also have the option when you, you when you do this to delete the source files after the successful um, file transfer. This is just um, um, a maintenance um, setting to help you um, eliminate unnecessary duplication of your files. Okay, and then also during this process, you've got the op uh, you've got the option of creating subfolders according to various criteria. You can see that you can rearrange your files. Um, by date, um, or you can even enter custom um, uh, information here. Uh, the, it, it's, it's fairly um, um, straightforward and self-explanatory. And then also the option to rename the files. It works in exactly the same, the same uh, way. You can select one of these predefined presets for renaming, or you can create a custom one for your um, um, for your files. Okay, so this is the only difference between these two options, but I'm going to leave my files um, in the original location. And now I just want to cover these last two um, options here, which are very, very handy if you want to assign, um, you know, information to a large group of images. Say, for example, I'm working with copyright information 
or author information or even uh, geographically uh, information that I want to assign to all of these files I can I can do that by ass assigning a tag preset and let's uh, let's do that now and let's just edit our tag presets Okay, and this is a, a standard tag preset dialog. You'll find it at other places within Dominion as well. It's just an editor that allows you to um, select different uh, metadata fields and, and assign values to them. Okay, but I'm going to use, instead of the default preset, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it um, Amazing Spaces and you can assign a shortcut key to it as well if you're going to be using it frequently even um, in uh, in cataloging and tagging your files you can do that here um, for the time being I am not so what I'm going to do is identify a author here and we to say this is by amazing spaces and I'm going to put copyright information in there as well. 2014, all rights reserved. Maybe I should put that over here. There we go. So now we've got our three fields that we are going to be uh, importing. And then I can hit OK. Okay, now I'm going back to my import dialog. And now you can see I can select this um, tag preset. Amazing spaces. And then I also have here, yeah, this is a very handy feature to, um, to assign categories from folder names. So the, the actual location of these files can be assigned to metadata during import. Right, so... Let's select that option and, and let's see what happens when we hit our import button. So now it's going to scan, create a list, and there, there we go. We can see the minion is starting to crunch through the files and it's importing as we go. Okay. So um, while Dominion is importing these files, um, I want to um, just take a browse through the Dominion website and show you the different... Uh, file formats that um, that Dominion supports. As you can see, there's a very, very large range of files and I'm only going to be working with um, with JPEG images um, for the purpose of this demonstration. But um, um, you can see all various image formats are supported, um, raw camera formats for all the different camera makers, um, documentation, audio, video, um, PDF format. Um, there's there's really a vast number of files that uh, that you can tag and catalog with Dominion. So um, have a read through this and 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 just ensure that all your uh, needs are met um, by um, the the supported files um, over here. Okay. So this is very handy to uh, to notice. As you can see, the we we selected that uh, that checkbox that says. Uh, Import ca create categories during import according to folder structure. So as you can see already here, like I've got my folder structure here in my um, computer, it's uh, uh, Dean, Pictures, Amazing Spaces, etc. It's creating exactly the same structure over here for me in the categories. And um, while it's importing, we can start viewing these images. Um, now you can also notice here that I have got no sorting um, criteria selected so I'm going to sort these by file name and there we go as we're importing we can see there there we have our Dominion images loading okay so notice that uh, uh, I'm going to go through a couple of the elements on this while it's importing just to kill some time you've got a slider over here which you can use to adjust the the size of your thumbnails that's the, the, the first handy feature that, you, that you'll see. And also if you hold down your control key and you use your mouse wheel, um, you can also adjust the, um, the size. And then these two uh, um, buttons over here indicates the, the item, uh, the information that's displayed above and below the thumbnail. So you can switch that on and off. As you can see, there's nothing displayed above the thumbnail now, nothing displayed below the thumbnail. And there's just different view um, you know, view settings that you can use over here. That's your thumbnails with information. 
Um, that's your compact grid where you just get your square previews. Um, then that's your list view where it's got the actual information in a in a in a detailed um, grid for you to to view. And then there are various other um, different film strip and variations on film strip that you can select for viewing. For example, large preview with strip on the left, etc. These are, um, are are very straightforward. Okay, so we can just see as we're going through the importing here. Um, very handy to note also that uh, you, you will we'll cover this filter area in detail as we go on. Um, and you can see Dominion is just cruising through our files at the moment, importing them. Um, and uh, I'm going to customize this uh, caption that I have below my thumbnail. I'm going to leave the media format above my thumbnail. But then below my um, thumbnail, I want displayed, I'm going to remove that field. I want the file name, the dimension, and I also want Dominion to display, for example, the folder name for me. But I want that displayed below the file name. And then I also want to insert my keyword field. I want that below folders. I'm going to have file name folders, keyword, dimensions. Great, so now we can see there's the actual file name, the folder name that it's in, the um, dimension summary, and then you can see my keyword field is blank. Okay, so now let's select, uh, I'm going to close this map preview for the time being and just have a look through the properties that we see on the on the file. As you can see, the information that we um, assigned during the tag preset, that's already listed in here during the import. So it saves us the hassle of actually having to uh, enter this information manually. You know, we can do it um, en masse during the import process. Great, we're almost uh, halfway there with our, oh, we, well, we passed halfway mark already. It shouldn't be much longer. Right, okay, so while we are waiting for the import to finish, I'm going to just uh, show you that all of these panels in Dominion are, you know, your standard docking and floating panel. So you can customize the interface as you see fit, you know, so um, you can uh, dock these panels anywhere on the user interface. On the side, you can undock them by double clicking, dock them again by clicking. Um, you can merge them with other panels by dragging them onto this area, use different types of layout. So um, it's completely up to you how you would like to um, arrange your user interface. Um, you can use your Windows menu to show diff other panels that are also available, like the map panel that we um, just closed. That was over there. You can uh, open and close them from there. And we'll get to um, all the different areas of this uh, of this menu as we all uh, of all these menus as we go through um, the different areas of Dominion. Okay, and then also you'll notice that there's a gear icon on all of these panels, and that gives you access to some of the advanced menu, um, you know, advanced features that we'll also cover in a later stage. Um, for our catalogs panel, uh, catalogs tag panel, though, I just wanted to go through. Um, you'll see that there are various um, presets for viewing, and the same thing you'll find on your properties panel. You know, you can customize different um, sets of metadata that you want to see. Um, because, for example, not all of these um, fields that are listed in the um, let's create a, a, a metadata preset that um, has all all available metadata and we select all and then as you can see it's quite a large list of, of, of metadata groups which contain their different information um, um, in in them as well you know and, and what it, it it's quite difficult to scroll through long linear lists so dominion gives you the opportunity to just define a custom set of information that's only relevant to what you are doing um, and that is what these different presets are say for example i'm only working with audio files or only working with video files then i can set up 
um, almost like a workspace that contains only the uh, the relevant data for what I'm doing. Okay, so as we can see, our metadata has um, uh, finished importing, and it's also busy just syncing all these category information back to the files now, and we should get a green go ahead. There we go. Okay, so now we have, when we click our show all button, we'll see that 1,897 files have been imported. Um, you can preview an image by just double clicking on it. There's also the handy option of just entering your information into the properties panel there as you go. Um, we're going to close this off. And yes, that's your, your import process, all done and dusted. Thank you.